here on the Gold Coast of Australia. Stephanie Gilmore in the lineup now with Paige Cherub and Isabella Nichols. Joe Trapel, Martin Potter for the call. Potts, this is an exciting day of action where you get to see what all the athletes were doing in the offseason. It comes clear on even their opening ride, how ready they are to compete in 2019. So looking at the conditions at Diva, looks really rippable. A little bit more organized from yesterday. Steph Gilmore, the local, drawing that beautiful carve. Hits it off the lip. Here comes the wrapping cut back for Gilmore, looking for an inside connection. Stephanie Gilmore completes her opening ride here. Put the message clear in the heat before that she's ready for another fight for a world title race. How's that first swoop, Potts? Yeah, beautiful. I mean, trademark stuff from uh, Stephanie Gilmore. As uh, this wave kind of gets a little bit of white water on the inside, finishes off strong. And uh, that swoop you're talking about, I mean, you could watch that for days on end. Just so silky smooth. No mistakes. I like the fact she's just come out. In the heat number three in the morning here at the Boost Mobile Pro. Having a look now, Isabella Nichols coming through the trials to be a wild card into the main event. Nichols finishes on her feet. She's had a stellar 2019 on the QS. Made a lot of sense when she won the trials to get this chance to battle with Gilmore. And Paige Harib will have priority sitting out the back. And then Isabella Nichols uh, answers right back at her with some radical surfing through the inside. A little bit more intent. And then finishing really strong. So a great combination of waves there for these two young surfers. I think she's going to be really tough to beat. Locking into this wave is Isabella Nichols. And she just searches real quick, ends up popping out. Here comes Paige Harem from New Zealand. Soft section on the inside. She'll just fade that cut back off the top. Just trying to find something to work with. Forcing it a bit there. But her warm-up's out of the way. What Paige did on the last one. Yeah, you can see uh, Paige on her backhand. There's that trademark hook from Paige Harem. She has got that maneuver on lockdown, but the wave kind of let her down through the inside, Joe. It goes a little fat, a little slopey, and it really doesn't give her that vertical face to capitalize on. Being those goofy foot is so dynamic with her approach, so stylish. Hitting that first section off the lip is Isabella Nichols incomplete. Very impressed with Isabella's first ride, Joe. So just a point off of Gilmore. Fun looking wedge for Stephanie Gilmore. Almost thought she was going to pull in under the hood. That one's just going to end up short. She'll kick out. But when you just dream of surfing a beach break, you want it to look like this. The color yeah. of the water, how warm it is. Little A-frame peeps, peaks popping up. We're scoring D-Bot today. Catching up with Rosie Hodge, that microphone soaking wet going through sets. But Rosie, it really inspired by the next generation. As we see a top turn from Paige Harab on the back end. A little bit more open face now. Two clean carves and she's out. Harab had the 2 6 7 on her opener. That'll be her second scoring ride. Isabella Nichols with that 6 is still second. But you want to be in the top two in these opening round heats. So you're going straight into round three action. She's had such an incredible year on the 6,000 rated qualifying series events. Back to back finals from Newcastle down to Manly Beach. Here comes Isabella rolling in. First turn, throws it up vertically, and she'll. Hammer oh. that whitewater section. Interesting with that climbing maneuver, Pot. Sometimes it looks really easy to read, and other times you could go fly into the heavens. Yeah, well, it's a 50-50 in it. I mean, it's a, a tricky maneuver to finish off with. Right down towards the left-hand bottom part of your screen, and the waves seem to be all up the top. Very interesting here for Steph Gilmore being the local. Page with the wind-up. Clean arc to start on the backhand. Another wrapping cutback for Harab. Jams it off the lip, showing some power on that third move. And now playing with a little inside reform. She earned that bonus section, hits it off the roof. Oh. She'll sink on the landing. But a few solid turns before, looking like her best wave so far. Needs a 4 4 1 for second. A beautiful piece of water. Nice late drop, and there's that big carving maneuver in the pocket. And another one, so bringing it all the way back around on the inside. Nice combination of maneuvers. Looking really strong, and then really needed this end section to uh, cooperate to get that big score, but just kind of sinking on that last maneuver. But definitely Paige's best wave that first turn, though. Look at this beautiful, clean face for Paige as she just tears the lip off. Nice, clean, precise 
mistake-free surfing from Paige Herop. So great stuff from her. That's going to get her right back in the mix. Give her a lot of confidence moving forward, too, with nine minutes remaining. Now down the beach, Gilmore finding some room to move. Setting up a beautiful top turn wrap, cornering down the line. She'll check it real quick off the top. Building some speed for the oncoming section. Slides the tail and just falls off on the inside. So trying to play with that finishing move. That wave trimmed in size dramatically from the takeoff. You know, that's kind of the problem I'm seeing at the moment with the middle of the beach. I mean, you've got these beautiful peaks, but they kind of dissipate really quickly, Joe. And that wave that Steph got in the beginning kind of maintained its size for quite some time and allowed her a bunch of maneuvers. For me, if something's working, stick to it. Now rolling in, Isabella Nichols up and out. The current number one on the qualifying series wants to stay there on the rankings. Four of those wins turned into world titles for Steph Gilmore. How's this wedge? Steph Gilmore goes around that first section. A lot of speed. Grab rail. Finchuk out the back. She'll sink on that one. But now it's fun. It's an official debut. You know you're going to have the entire season to battle with the world's best. And you have to be used to calling yourself one of the world's best as well. Hennessy up next. We'll watch Isabella on this one. Couple of clean top turns. Trying to ditch a 3.5 with this one. Attacking wow. the lip section there, and Isabella puts that one to bed. She's got a lot of spring in her step, Joe. I like it. Each maneuver's got a lot of zip. So let's have a look at Isabella's last ride here, Joe. Nice opening slash. Jams it off the lips. There's got a lot of speed coming out of that maneuver. And again, bringing it through the inside. Finishing strong. Steph wants to make it official this year by getting an eighth. But she was able to pass Lane last season on the all-time win list. Rolling down the line and oh. pulling into that first section in the barrel. Gilmore gets clipped. Well, Durambo, very famous for the tube ride, but today the swell not really producing the power. Get to understand the ins and outs of uh, what's going on, but DH seems like he's nailed it with the, with the equipment this year. Well, Isabella just took the lead with a 5.6 as she ends up going down on the backhand turn. We're now 90 seconds on the clock. Steph just needing a 4.5 for the lead. Paige trying to get out of trouble here in third. She'll hop out of there. Gilmore feeling the pressure. Everyone wants to avoid round two, and that's where Paige is sitting, only needing a 4.91. Steph with priority will take this wave. Not much on offer for Gilmore, oh. and she's going to have to step off. Left chasing a 4.91. Six for the lead. Going to move through the round three, but I don't think she's going to be very happy with the back part of that heat. Starting incredibly well with the seven, and then for some reason moved down to the middle of the beach. And since then really struggled to get a good wave, Joe. Isabella Nichols taking out the trials. Number one on the QS takes a big win.